All right, y'all, let's get into the daytime trip and the nighttime trip. And we got to kind of trip to talk about the trip. Because it's hard to talk about the trip after the trip or before the trip or when you're not inside the trip. All right. So um, during the trip, the daytime trip is a lot different than the nighttime trip. The nighttime trip, everything seems in unison. Everybody is comfortable. Everybody has a purpose. Everybody's in line. Um, there's synchronization, those kinds of things. Everybody's on that same algorithm, in a matter of speaking. The daytime, you feel the difference in energies. And you can go from one room to another room and feel the different energies and how they change. You can feel the different energies with being alone versus being out there. When you're out there... Um, nothing feels right and uh, the people who know what they're talking about who aren't part of the trip they um, may get to you or annoy you or uh, make you laugh or it just seems like they're blah blah blah, blah like and it's none and they don't stop and, and uh, all these things and all the things of, of your normal day reality should are, are all weird and it, it, you can either like laugh at it or freak out or uh sometimes the trip makes you uh people with no experience or whatever they may get hot versus cold some people may get cold versus hot so um and it depends what chemicals you put in with it um so thc will take an edge off but but increase other stuff and then alcohol will take an edge off and then do other things um, and then you mix it with the other types of drugs, uh, but mushroom would be that base. Um, but either way, so, uh, and then the people who don't do the mushrooms, who don't mix it with these other things, they're, uh, they're, um, not going to, they're, they're going to have a different experience per se. All right. And, and the edge is always going to be there. And, um, Either way, all right? So all these, like the Heron, the Heron is tied to, uh, um, and her effects is tied to Kamala and whatever, where the people will just be like couch locked and uh, they won't be able to do whatever. But um, I've never done the heroin pure. I've only done the heroin based ecstasy. Um, and there is a big difference between the heroin based ecstasy and the speed base ecstasy the heroin based one makes you just you feel like you don't want to do anything it melts you into the couch um it's not that go-getter one like the speed base one it makes you want to uh go and dance and walk the circles and all that kind of shit but um either way so the mushroom trip during the daytime is completely different than the nighttime and uh, the daytime, no matter where you're at, it, it seems like it's the wrong place. Um, the people that know what they're talking about is getting on. It, they're annoying you. You got to step away. Um, you got to have somebody to guide you um, a little bit uh, if you don't if you don't have experience or whatever. Um, and then the person who has experience just needs to follow the trip right and then there's different levels of trip because you can be tripping and then have a, a new person tripping with you and then you got to guide them through the trip while you're tripping and then there's also the people who aren't tripping with the people who are tripping so there's different levels of things going on here and uh so this would be like the different effects of the layer is uh of our reality is because you're gonna have people who are sober-minded, who've lived through the tripping, right? And they're telling you all what to do during the trip, but you have to trust them and, and go with your your spiritual guide, in a matter of speaking, because you're going through that party. Um, so when you go party alone, shit happens, all right? You got to know how to party. Um, and and uh, that's where you get your overdose or you don't know your dealer, and those types of things. So, um, either way, you got to test your dealer. You got to uh, 
the dill ear and this is where you test your men and uh it's game time so um the psilocybin effect is, is coming out on us and these things are here to teach us it's a teaching plant and uh in order to teach about the trip we need to experience the trip and talk about the trip during the trip and this is what this lesson is about and uh uh, because um, I have had experience with these things and uh, you got to be found you got to have that foundation and to be able to teach the others to work through these things that are coming okay um, the millennial started the rulers of darkness were here and uh, he controls the chemicals and such and these chemicals that supposedly fry your brain they give you light in your brain and they teach you things about this world so your dare program take that dare all these things are there to test you but the psilocybin effect is coming upon the world and those of us who have not had experience in the psilocybin effect or the party days or whatever all right that night is coming with his club and most people don't know how to make it home uh, from a heavy night all right and a heavy night is coming and you got to know how to party the night away maybe days away and stay up for the whole process and uh i've been one of those who has uh i get the people fucked up and then I guide them through it. All right. So it's going to be the same days coming up. All right. Um, and while I can handle the spiritual, when the unseen becomes seen and the world is shaken and the psilocybin's coming in our reality and making y'all crazy. Just come running over here. I'll tell you what's going on, all right? Because uh, the daytime trip is a lot different than the nighttime. And the daytime is very chaotic. The daytime uh, can make you crazy. The daytime trip, um, if you don't separate from it, can uh, it just doesn't feel right. You know what I mean? Either way, the nighttime trip is all nice and serene. And then there's different levels of the trip. And newbies and experience, with experienced people. And sometimes the experienced people, they still trip out or whatever, right? So it's always got to be that foundation. All right? Um, either way, to the eyes and ears that have it. All right? Um... I understand the rulers of darkness have controlled the minds and they've programmed y'all, they've brainwashed y'all and whatever else, all right? So teach you a little bit more about the reality coming up, okay? I started off the mushrooms in the morning. Um, I go through bouts of starvation, not wanting anything to eat. The things that I have to eat don't sound good. All I want is chips and queso. All right. The only thing that sounds good is chips and queso. And now my wife, she looked up the recipe. God bless her soul. She's making some chips and queso. Well, she's not making the chips, but she's making the queso. And uh, either way, so the whole energy is changing. So the, these are just different things to teach y'all. All right. Um... But either way, we're going to end it here. We're going to go get some chips and queso and change the energy and such. You just got to, like every room, the basement has one energy. Living room has one energy. Kitchen has one energy. You can't be too loud. If you are, you start giggling. All kinds of different things. There's all kinds of rule, preset rules in your head that can't make you deal with reality. 
And if you don't have experience with these things or whatever, you, you ain't going to be able to deal with the reality. All right. So I'm just out here making a video, live video as the trip goes on. So y'all can experience things about the trip that are coming to your reality. All right. Because these are teaching plants. And uh, the, these are there to teach us about all kinds of things. And how can you understand the heavenly things if you can't even understand the earthly things around you? Okay, so either way, we'll end it here. Toodles.